So today we're actually going to do animal play principles and some basics of owl dynamics. So, oops. So here's actually playing. So we see different kinds of planes here. A380. Here it is uh, 767. Here is actually a 767, no, 777, um, which is Emirates. Uh, this is the Quintus um, plane, uh, 767. This is an Aeroflot. So have you ever wondered how you know, uh, do these airplanes actually fly, or, or what are the basic parts, or how do they fly? So first up, we need to discover the basic parts of airplanes. So, we're talking about airplane parts and functions. So, we can see, here is actually the vertical stabilizer. Here is actually the rudder who changes uh, the direction of the plane. The elevator is changing the altitude of the plane, uh, which is going upwards or going higher or going down. The flaps increase the uh, lift and drag, which in other words is by like, controlling the speed of the aircraft. But some of the flaps is actually controlling the landing. So the ailerons, it's uh, changing, basically changing the direct direction uh, on uh, on the main wing. So we can see the aileron is actually changing the direction on the main wing, and the ail uh, and the rudder is actually changing the whole direction of the plane. But this is actually just uh, uh, so we discover what actually you do. Slats, it's to increase the lift by pushing more air past through it, making it more aerodynamic. Cockpit, um, turbine engine for pushing the aircraft, wing generating lift. So, we all know wingless uh, is the decrease uh, drag, so we'll talk about that later. And we've got a horizontal stabilizer, uh, which is just increasing the more uh, control of the aircraft. Okay, so let's kind of talk about the control loop. So this is actually the aileron of, of the plane. The aileron is actually in here, right? This is actually the aileron, right? So the total distance of the plane. And we've got the forces raising up the force. And this is actually the center of gravity. And when the plane turns left or right, this, uh, the, when one turns left, um, here, when here lifts, here, when here drops, the plane turns left, here rows, here drops, the plane turns right. So actually, the aileron's is actually, in simple words, is this, we have equal lift when nothing is turned. But when uh, the left aileron is lifted and right aileron is lifted and left is dropped it. So and then we, we can see it rows uh, to, to this side, right? It rows to this side. If here if here they, they, they drop this and they lift this, they will turn again to this side. So it's me talking about um the force because uh, you can see uh, in this surface you actually block the air and, and then the blocks and you let the air pass through here. Let the air pass through and you pass through here then you get the resulting motion uh, change you can successfully change your direction uh, on T1. 
be a main one. Of course you can actually change uh, the direction by the rudder. So we're going to talk about rudder. Now, the elevator is by controlling. The elevator is uh, controlling the height. Horizontal stabilizer is actually uh, at the back part of the plane, which is uh, stabilized the air passing through that. And the vertical stabilizer is also, uh, as you all know, it actually stabilizes uh, the whole plane's uh, directions. The rudder is for changing directions. Now I'm going to write that down here. The rudder is for changing. Write it in more clear words. Sorry about that. So actually, I'll present. This is actually plane. Okay. So we've got. Uh, so actually, everything in the center. I mean, everything in the center. Let's not see. Okay. It's actually called the center of gravity. Now this point is called the center of gravity, and this is actually the lift. Drag is actually called by gravity. It's actually he calls it weight at that point. Because it's main weight, but it's also a drag to the airplane. Here it is definitely the drag to the airplane. Um, this may be this uh, is maybe um, headwinds. Headwinds. This may be fuel. This may be called by gravity. And weight may be called by fuel. Thousand years, or even by uh, load. I mean, okay. okay. The force is by usually mainly by the engine, pushed by the engine. And of course, the lift is of course mainly by the weight. 
So this is actually the basic the, the, the basic forces. The basic basic forces I think on the plane so we get the, basic, so we get the uh, lift which is actually part let's see by the wings and the drag and the weight is by headwind the thrust is by forward motion the force is going forward uh, and it's made pushed by engines and also uh, forgot sorry about that it's also by uh, it's also by tailwind Uh, here is actually weight, and it's put by gravity through passengers on load. <laughs> right. So, you're now how this plane actually fly. Now we're actually going to get into more ports of the plane. So, have any of you wonder uh, of the angle uh, when the plane takes off? So, we call it This is actually the court line, and we usually say the center is called the center of gravity. So the court line center is actually the center of gravity. So I'll actually write it here. It's actually the center of gravity. Okay. So the airflow is flowing past the ground, and the angle of attack. Uh, between the airflow and the core line is basically called the angle of static. So it actually calculates how much does the plane uh, lift. So basically, let's gonna draw this a little bit better. Maybe draw it on paper. we use tangent here. So on a plane, on a plane, I presume the aeroplane is here. Okay, so we draw really badly. Zoom the aeroplane is here. And he's takeoff. So, uh, he's takeoff right here. So, this is actually or one, and this is here, actually the airflow passing fluid. It's the airflow, and this is actually the angle. Of the and basically, we call it. We call it. Tangent theorem because if here is h and I presume the angle of attack is feeder and I actually get I don't know what is this but if I actually know the length so h over l equalizes the tangent feeder right. so actually this you can actually calculate so it's for calculating it's for Calculating. 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 So calculating. It also does for landing because in landing, because in landing you actually do the same thing. 
when the plane lands, you draw the angle here. So when the landings, so when landing right here, landing, you do the same thing. You calculate when the plane is going downwards. So if we zoom, plane going downwards. You know the length here. What you do is to do x squared plus arrows. You plus is the c. So I call it uh, height and length. And c is actually by the toe. So this one. T is actually by the toe distance. T equals toe distance. So it actually equalizes uh, the Bayer, equalizes uh, H over T, equalizes the sine of Bayer. So we know how to actually calculate these stuff, right? Ooh. Now, let's get into something more fun, or, or something not too boring to act with mathematical stuff. So, has anyone wondered how this plane fly uh, using its wings? Well, actually, it's very simple logic. You just need to know about this. Here is actually uh, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is by uh, making the airline, uh, the, the aeroplane, actually more smooth when it's flying. Right? So the aerodynamic, the whole concept of the aerodynamic is to reduce the thrust, uh, reduce, sorry, reduce the drag. So for aerodynamics, what you do? So for aerodynamics, okay, we're actually trying to do is to. the drag weight of the aircraft so we actually reduce the drag of the aircraft but uh, to increase lift and thrust so reduce weight to reduce weight we have several measures to do it by using light light uh, metal uh, now currently we're using titanium and ore Building a steam shape, being a short line, uh, streamlined shape of the aircraft itself, of the aircraft itself. So the one way to do that is to reduce the air. Uh, one way to do that is to turn air into Our major airflow not uh, You can say it's tailwinds. By turning air, turn air into major airflow. So tailwinds, not hit. But one way to do that, it's like actually most of the aircraft we do that, is to draw basically air flows past it, you know, the flows past it, and they smooth to reduces 
reduces air pressure. So what it does is actually very beneficial to the plane. Uh, very beneficial because um, the planes Shoulder planes as as uses the concept of aerodynamics to um, make it. Like because actually uh, we can see um, before the planes, they, they, I mean, before the biplane does, we you, you need to use these stuff, right? But then we now we just use one plane. We just use one of these stuff. We can actually solve it. We can actually solve uh, and make it even more faster. Uh, because before uh, in the Wright brothers, they're actually very slow. But now it's mainly eight hundred. To a thousand kilometers wow. for a uh, cruising speed. Cruising speed is more faster. So it's more faster in this place in terms of cruising speed. Right? Okay. So last but no, uh, so I'm actually going to show you a photo of the aircraft uh, wing. So you can see, oops, sorry. So we can see here is actually very old dynamic, and here's actually the space is allowing uh, the air to pass through in a very old dynamic way, allowing airflow to actually pass through, but but uh, at the same time maintaining the overall structure of uh, the aircraft skin itself. This actually makes, uh, these actually are uh, uh, engines, but the engines itself are also very old and in itself. So, it's definitely talking about uh, being powerful um, and, and being a very aerodynamic faster, uh, lighter aircraft nowadays. So, uh, in, uh, we, we have aerodynamics nowadays, we can actually achieve these goals. So last but not least, um, I'm actually going to talk about these. Oops, wait. Wait, no, no. These. These are winglets, right? So they're called winglets. So winglets, what do they actually do? They, they're, they're placed in, in very new high-tech aircraft nowadays. So what are they for? It's actually to reduce the spiral. The, actually, the spirals is actually the, the, uh, the drag, or you can say, uh, the friction uh, on the wingtip. Prevents, so it actually prevents a spiral of turbulence. So this actually, when you add the wing to the air, uh, the air can actually run a lot smoother on the aircraft. So last but not least. If you're interested, uh, thanks. If you're interested, please follow on um, 
stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.